Hi, in this package chaser, we will configure a WPA2 Enterprise wireless LAN on the wireless LAN controller. We have just uh, already configured and tested the wireless LAN controller with an existing wireless LAN. We configure WPA2 PSK for that wireless LAN because it was to be used in a smaller business. Uh, you have been asked to configure and test a wireless LAN controller topology that will be used in a larger enterprise. Hi, in the Packet Chaser activity, we will configure a WPA2 Enterprise Wireless LAN on the Wireless LAN controller here. Yeah. Uh, the background or scenario of this uh, activity is you have already configured and tested the wireless LAN controller with an existing wireless LAN. You configured WPA2 PSK for that wireless LAN because it was able to use in a smaller business. But WPA2 PSK does not scale well and is not appropriate to use in an enterprise network. The new topology will use a radio server and WPA2 enterprise to authenticate wireless LAN users. This allows administration of the user accounts from the central location and provides enhanced security and transparency because each account has its own username and password. In addition, user activity is locked on the server. In this activity, we will create a new VLAN interface. Use that interface to create a new wireless LAN and secure that wireless LAN with WPA2 Enterprise. And then we will also configure the wireless LAN controller to use the enterprise radio server to authenticate users and configure uh, this controller to use a NNMP server to manage all the device on the network. Firstly, we will create a new wireless LAN interface. So we enter the admin PC and click on the web browser and enter the IP address of the wireless LAN controller here. But remember to use HTTPS. And then click login and enter the username and password. So this is the interface on the wireless LAN controller to create a VLAN ID we click on the wireless LAN oh, sorry we click on controller and then click on the interface click on new and enter the name and VLAN ID the interface name is WLAN 5 and VLAN ID 5 then we click apply next we will enter port number 1 and the VLAN uh, interface address this one and remember that the gateway for the uh, interface is a sub interface on router one you can drag here and see the gigabit is at 0, 000.5 is the default gateway for the uh, wireless LAN interface 
and uh, remember that the link between router one and switch one is the chunk is the chunk link and from switch one to wireless LAN controller one is the chunk link two now the primary DHCP server the DHCP server is router one so we enter the IP address of the router one on the subinterface dot five. So I can copy and paste here. Then click apply and click OK. Now on step two, we will configure the what is LAN controller to use the radio server we click on the security and then click on new and then we enter the IP address of the radio server here and the shared secret for the wireless LAN controller and the server to authenticate uh, each other and this is the server IP address and the shared secret and then we click on apply and here's our radio server with the address and port and the status enable. Next, we will create a new wireless LAN. To do that, we click on the wireless LAN and create new. And we enter the profile name, the SID, and the uh, VLAN ID here, following the uh, instruction. So after entering the information required, so I click on apply. So remember, this is very important. The ID is five. It's for VLAN five. And on this interface, we will enable this SSID, and then we choose the interface WLAN 5. Next, on the security, we choose the GPA server, this one, and then click on apply. Then on the advanced tab, remember to click on flash connect with the, uh, the switching local uh, technology from Cisco and click on apply. Okay, so let's examine again. Enable the interface, the security, player 2. We choose that this uh, sorry that two and we choose we enable this one and not enable this one and we choose WPA policy and choose the AES encryption and enable. Okay, on layer 3, no, chip a server here, okay, and now click on apply, okay. So we can check for the wireless LAN here, we have wireless LAN ID 5, name, SID, and enable, okay. So on part 2, we will configure DHCP scope and SNMP. So why we have to configure uh, this feature? Because the wireless LAN controller will manage the access point 
in the separate VLAN. So we will configure this controller to act as a DHCV server to provide the IP address for each uh, LAP to create a management VLAN. To do that, we click on the controller and the interfaces. Here, we have we already have the management interface with the IP address here. This IP address is a sub interface on the router one, uh, on VLAN. Uh, so which VLAN? On VLAN two hundred. Okay. So next we click on the management interface. Uh, the management okay port number one. The IP address okay. Primary DHCP. Gateway. Okay, so now we click on the internal DHCP to uh, know the address pool for the uh, access point. We click on it and change it to the IP address uh, range. So here the start address, the end address, the network, the net mask and the default router and we click on apply to save the DSCP score so please remember that this score is to provide a range of IP address for the access point and managed by the wireless LAN controller And here you see the DHCP scope name, the pool, uh, now on step 2 of part 2, we will configure LNMP on the management interface. And we click on the charge receiver. So all the information on this wallet LAN controller will send to the radio server because the radio server is also the NNMP server, and wireless LAN controller is a NNMP agent. So we click on new and enter the community name and the IP address of the radius server then we click apply now on the last part we will uh, connect host to the network now we turn back to the wireless host and then on PC wireless we Create a profile, new, new profile name, uh, test, and click on OK, and click on Advanced Setup, and we connect to the LSLD5, next, and then next, and choose the WPA2 Enterprise here, and next. And then we enter the login name and the password here and click next and save and then click on connect to the network. We can refresh here and wait for some seconds to be connected. And you see here the adapter is active. And the wireless hot is connected to the access point. Remember that when you click uh, and copy, you should remove the blank space. If you enter the wrong password or username with the blank space, uh, so the, we cannot authenticate on the 
uh, radio server and we can test the connectivity by ping to other uh, PC on the network so that is all for this activity thanks for watching